Hi boys and girls, auntie and uncle, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is CK and my channel is Psychology, where I bring my viewers around the world to see and explore. And today, I am in the viewing platform called Wang Gelian. Now, every morning, if you come here earlier enough, you get to see the sea cloud of pearlis, the sea cloud of Wang Gelian. And look at that, it's absolutely mind-blowing. Now, Perlis is the smallest state in Malaysia, slightly bigger than Singapore, situated south to the border with the Kingdom of Thailand and north to the state of Kedah. Perlis is also home to many notable Malaysians, including Abdul Hamid Omar. He was born here in Perlis in 1929 and he was the first chief minister of Malaysia serving from 1988 to 1994. In this video, I am going to bring you all around this beautiful state and show you the highlights and the delicious food of Perlis. But before I do that, here is a little bit of the history of Perlis. Perlis was originally part of Kedah and was historically an important realm. Sultan Muhyiddin of Kedah made his capital in Kota Sena, while Sultan Diauddin II made Kota Indra Kayangan his capital. Sultan Diauddin II of Kedah was honorifically titled as Raja Muda of Perlis and Kedah, akin to the title Prince of Wales in the United Kingdom. This fact depicted Perlis as a special realm within the Kedah Sultanate. May 1843, the Siamese made Sayyid Hussein Jamalulai the first Raja of Perlis. This made Perlis a sovereign state. His descendants still ruled Perlis but as Rajas instead of as Sultan. The British installed a resident in the Perlis royal capital of Arau. Perlis was returned to Siam in World War II as a reward for Siam's alliance with Japan. But this brief annexation ended with the Japanese surrender. After World War II, Perlis returned to British rule until it became part of the Malayan Union then the Federation of Malaya in 1957 and lastly Malaysia in 1963. Good morning, good morning. It is a very wet morning today here in Perlis. If you followed my channel long enough, you will know that I will every time have breakfast in a traditional Hainanese kopitiam. Now for those of you who still don't know what is a kopitiam, it is our cafe. So kopi means coffee and tiam means shop. And whether it's Malay or Chinese, we, we use kopitiam here in Malaysia instead of cafe and in Perlis the one and only old-time institution cafe Kopitiam here is at Takong and they are more than 60 years of history here in Kanga here in Perlis and Takong has one of the best soft-boiled eggs in Perlis and also next door there is a shop that sells chapati and so don't forget to order your chapati next door. You can order and eat it here. Ah, oh, very good. The one-stop breakfast place, they open at 7 a.m. And you can have all the Malaysian breakfast you want here in Perlis. Second kopitiam for me is Yutong. I love this kopitiam. It really reminds me of all the kopitiams that I grew up with in Georgetown. And if these walls could talk, I mean, I think the, the deco here is really very original. And um, I just love the uncle's 
kitchen where he does the gopi. So authentic, so original. And I am here for ta-da! The chakwe tiao. I heard auntie is the best here in Berlin. So I've come for the chakwe tiao. I haven't had chakwe tiao in a very long time. Let's have a taste. Mm, quite good actually. Mm. Oh, now the taste is coming to me. Mm. Get your chakwe tiao here at Yu Tong, the middle of Old Town here in Kanga. It's still raining, still drizzling this morning, and I'm at the town of Kaki Bukit. This is the most northern town in West Malaysia. On the other side is Thailand. And I drove half an hour all the way here and I had to wait three days for this meal. And I'm finally here at Guan Bi and they're making it for me right now. I just have to wait a little bit more. Imagining waiting a meal for three days pre-order. They've confirmed my order. I can't wait to eat it. So after three days of waiting, gosh, I have never had to pre-order a food three days. I think the last one was the apple strudel in Klang, but that was only two days of pre-order. This one is a full three day, I must wait. Oh, so this is the legendary Guan Bi Big Bun here in Kaki Bukit here in Berlis. They've been doing this for many years. And the process that they do it, I don't really understand, but it's handmade, number one. And number two, the uncle used this light bulb to get the whole bun bloated. I have never seen a process like that here in Malaysia or anywhere else. They would start doing it like around 8 a.m. and only finished at 11. So don't come early to pick it up as well because it's not ready yet. Full of chicken chicken meat, eggs, and turnip. I've been waiting for this. Ah, oh, look at that. Oh, I think I found something. Oh. Mm. Wow, I have to show you what is inside this bun. So look at this bun, I mean the complexity of it. Look at these chicken, that's all chicken, turnip, and there's the egg. Look at that, that's the egg there. It's it's unbelievable. I know you playing your part, but baby, it's breaking my heart. How could I know if you don't need me? Just let me know and I go. I know you playing your part, cause I go, but baby, it's breaking my heart. How could I know? I am at the legendary MGH Indonesia Curry Rice. Now every Perlisian, every single one in Perlis seems to know this particular food shop because they have been here since 1984 and they serve legendary curry. Look at these incredible dishes. I ordered the curry pork and then their legendary curry chicken and this is salted fish so they've opened since 1984 and every celebrity, every YouTuber has been here they open every day starting about 10.45 I would say come at 10.45 because the line can be very long they close on Thursday it has nothing to do with Indonesia because the word Indonesia was suggested by the, the boss's friend. So it's kind of like a marketing gimmick. Mm. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh wow. Chicken super juicy. The sauce is super thick. 
and actually a bit of sourness I taste. Mmm. Mm, this is even more sour. The lines are getting even longer now as I speak. So do come here early. They close Thursday, remember. MGH Indonesia curry rice. You cannot miss this while you are in Perlis. this dish when I got out of my car a moment ago. We're a little bit outside of Kanga and all my Pearlis friends say you have to try Abing Laksa. Now it's been like an odyssey of mine to try every single Laksa here in Malaysia and now I'm in Pearlis and Pearlis, well behold they have uh, their own laksa as well. It's actually called laksa lema. And here in Abing, they have laksa lema and the traditional Assam laksa. And they, you can mix it together called laksa jampo. So you can actually mix both, which is very interesting. I've never tried, but I've not even tried laksa lema. So here I am to try the laksa lema. It, it, believe me, I know you can't smell it, but it smells amazing. Tauke told me it's a lot of coconut ingredients in it, which is very different from all the other laksa. Not the curry laksa of the south, again, not the Assam laksa of Penang, and not the laksa Sarawak. <laughs> I am so hungry. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, well, I would say interesting. Um, Burles Laksa. Mm. Very good. It's situated in a residential area. And when good food is inside a residential area, it's usually a very good sign. It means that they're well hidden from, you know, a bit off the beaten track and where local people go and I, I only see local people eating here so it's a good sign so there you go Abing Laksa here in Kanga I met some new friends. Woo! So why do you guys think everybody should visit Berlin? It's so majestic. It's so underrated and it's so green here. You should come. Awesome and yeah. adventurous. And to escape city life. <laughs> yeah, come to Perlis. We'll see you in Perlis. Bye! Bye. So here I am at Anjong Keli 
Now they opened in 2006 and they've been super, super popular and a hit with the local here in Berlin, Northern Malay cuisine. And they are very famous for their grilled catfish. And this is the ikan keli tiga rasa, three sauce, keli fish, and their fish gulai. God, it looks so amazing. This is really good. Now, they get very, very busy during the day, so come early. I think they open about 10.30, but all the dishes are really, really amazing. So if you want Malay, Northern Malay cuisine, Anjung Kali is the place. So dinner time, dinner time, and I am at Korea Floating Restaurant. It's not Korea, it's Korea. And they call it this a floating restaurant, but it's actually like built on top of a small pond. And the ponds are full of thousands of tilapia. This restaurant, they breed them here and then they sell it to the distributor and they opened in 2014 and the name Korea is actually the nickname for the boss here so it's nothing to do with Korea. Okay, I've ordered the two things you must order in Korea which is the barbecue tilapia and they demonstrated that you, you can't eat the bones and the skin so they demonstrated that you like just peel it off and then you can eat it and the bamboo prawn which is actually curry and they put like a bamboo shape onto it this looks so so yummy mm. oh wow so it's like a, almost like a satay taste mm. Mm. it's sweet it's actually sweet yeah, it's sweet and thick. My gosh. And the prawns. I would say the sauce is the highlight. And I would say these two combination really is the perfect dinner. So now you know where to go for dinner. Korea, here in Kuala Perlis. It's really, really delicious. I'm just gonna have the... Oh, the sauce is really... I mean, the curry... The curry sauce is really good. Mm. So, 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 I've come to the end of my video and I'm ending my trip here in the state of Perlis. I'm right in front of the beautiful Al Hussein Mosque. They call it the floating mosque of Kuala Perlis. Now, what do you think of Perlis? Well, need I show you more? Small is Perlis, but it has some of the most stunning landscape I have ever seen. And for you people who love to play your drone, this is drone state. I mean, it's wide open space and lots and lots of beautiful paddy fields landscape that I took with my drones. And also, one thing I think I didn't take is the mango of Burnis. Now, Harum Manis is a type of mango and it's very sought after in Malaysia. Unfortunately, the season is only April till July, so I couldn't show you that, but if you're in Perlis, then take Harum Manis. 
the sweetest mango you will ever taste. Now, how to get to Perlis? Well, you can actually use Penang International Airport as your base. So from Penang to Perlis, take a drive, rent a car, drive up, and it only takes about two and a half hours to reach Perlis from Penang. Alternatively, you can go to Langkawi. Langkawi also have an international airport and just take the boat from Langkawi to here to Kuala Perlis. A speedboat, rent a car in Kuala Perlis and move around as you wish. I think it's the best if you have a car and Perlis is just the road condition is perfect. It's pretty flat and it's great to drive around in Perlis. I hope you visit Perlis, but before you do that, also check out my videos of Penang. Penang is also in the northern part of West Malaysia. So with that, please, please, please support my channel by go to buymeacoffee.com. So I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye and good night from Perlis.